From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. Good afternoon. It's a big day here on Afternoons LA as the Consumer Price Index number CPI for inflation is released. And it signaled lots of component parts went up compared to the prior month. It's going to cost more money to live than even earlier 30 days ago. That's why you have to get this massive stimulus. We have Black Friday stimulus checks for billions of Americans coming, arriving across the board. We'll go over those Black Friday stimulus checks totally great. Then next up, the Thanksgiving stimulus. And of course, the FSC, ISC, and lifetime stimulus checks. We have federal stimulus checks of nearly $300,000 over this big one-hour broadcast. Stay the big second half as we go over all these incredible checks on today's afternoon's holiday edition. Then we go to lifetime stimulus and also inflation relief stimulus checks. They're great and they are automatic direct deposit. I'll have the latest details on them as well. But the breaking news today is robust. We have the latest details on inflation. We have the latest details on the cryptocurrency crash. We have the latest details on job creation and also the latest details on job claims or jobless claims. Shocking numbers and really confusing numbers, but we'll analyze them today as a family, Purple Power family, over this incredible one-hour broadcast. Plus, we'll be looking at what to expect for this week, because it's going to be a very big week of broadcasts on the channel, and a very big month as the U.S. economy nears the next FOMC meeting from Jay Powell. The raising of interest rates of December is really the talk of the town. And I'll go over what you need to know and why the impact of your wallet. Plus, we'll look at one of the major factors that's making news today, the breaking news. This potential implosion of the retail market. Holiday sales are just around the corner. Holiday commerce, the shopping of the holiday season just around the corner. And is retail going to fall apart because travel and leisure is on fire? All the latest details on that. And the latest details of why there's more stimulus coming for you across the land. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big broadcast. Welcome to the Verbal Power family, welcome to Afternoons L8, and welcome to Holidays L8. Big show and a big pot of money heats you and waits for you in this broadcast. And we go over all that and more as a big Afternoons L8 starts right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day along the coast of Santa Monica, California. It is cooling down, but it is the holiday season, and that means utility bills are larger, and that was reflected in the latest breaking news today. Your recession, your inflation, your benefit raises, you're going to learn it all and see it all, including housing and unemployment and forced stimulus in today's breaking news. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good afternoon. It's LLA. How you doing? I'm so excited you're here, and welcome to the incredible Purple power family a lot of breaking news heating up today over this one hour broadcast we're going to go over these black friday stimulus checks great news for you the latest details on these thanksgiving stimulus checks wow and then the big money the fsc federal stimulus checks isc inflation release stimulus checks and of course the big money from those lifetime stimulus checks but first let's jump into the breaking news and there is a lot of it we have the latest details on inflation job creation jobless claims and also the latest details on what it costs to live let's jump right into it the consumer price index number the cpi is the most often used number that americans like you and i know for looking at inflation and where is inflation today is it any better than it was last month last year this month no it is not Jay Powell and company told you last year that inflation was going to be 8% in December of last year, and it was going to be temporary, or as he said, transitory. It was not going to be the case, I said to you last year, and I was the only American financial broadcaster to report 8% inflation was going to stay here and not go away for a very long time. Well, 
Was I right? Let's look at the data that came in less than 24 hours ago. The latest consumer price index number released for the prior month of October was released. And what was it? Basically, 8% again. Yes, we're still at 8% nearly one year later. As I said, it was not going to go away. And Jay Powell said it was going to be less than 30 days. Well, he got it really wrong. And the latest details is the consumer price index number was coming in at a 7.7% this week for the prior month. Not much of improvement, as Jay Powell has been raising rates every month for over a year to get it down. And he has barely gotten it down even a half a percentage point in one year. Oh, boy. What I teach you on this channel is always lead with data. Don't lead with analysis. So I want you to be data dependent. I want you to know exactly what the numbers are so that you can be informed. You can make decisions for you and your family and your wallet. And where is the data on this? The data starts with Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve's own words. The way the Federal Reserve establishes that they want to tell you what they do before they do it. And what do they say they want to do for over a year? Get inflation from 8% to 2%, number one. Get it down to 2% and stay there for several months, number two. And number three, not change course, not change uh, approach until they get that done. Pretty easy. Eight to two. Stay at two for several months and not move. That's very, very basic, very, very, very easy to understand. So where are we today? 7.7. .7. Are we going to move? No, of course not. We're not at 2%. This is pretty obvious. And how many months do we need for 2%? You know, a couple months. And yet, while this is very obvious to you and I as the Purple Power community, it's not particularly obvious to Wall Street. And Wall Street was back again with the latest, latest fake narrative. It's always the same expression. It's called the Fed pivot, P-I-V-O-T. Pivot is another way to say, you know, like a dancing move, you know, move to the left, move to the right, the pair dance, however you want to call it, uh, the tango, the rumba, it takes two to tango. Yeah, that, that sort of move. They've always said that the Federal Reserve would pivot, move, based upon improving data. In fact, the Federal Reserve said many times this year, no, we're not going to do it. And in fact, the Federal Reserve said it yesterday. We're not going to pivot until we get, yes, yeah, say it again, 2% for several months. We're at 7.7. .7. Now, here's a new part of the fake narrative, which I want you to learn because it's brand new and it is a little tricky and i don't want you to fall for the trickiness of it some of these analysts are also now saying well it takes a little while to whatever j powell does until it gets into the u.s economy so maybe two percent is just a few weeks away so maybe the federal reserve will stop now because we're almost there hello that's pretty much a trick remember j powell says it has to be a two percent for several months it has to be actually reported as two percent that you look at the data, it says 2% this month, and then we need to say 2% for several months. So do we achieve that? No, absolutely not. And this, my friends, is why you have to get this massive stimulus. In today's recording, I have for you Thanksgiving stimulus checks. Wow. I have for you Black Friday free stimulus checks as well. Inflation relief stimulus checks, lifetime stimulus checks, and also more checks across the board. What do you need to do? Just sit back, watch this entire broadcast. I'm going to go over every check with you one at a time and understand it's for you. When we start with federal stimulus checks, it comes from the federal government. I don't care if you live in Nebraska or Tennessee or New York or New Jersey. It has nothing to do with where you live. In fact, you can move around the United States and still get the check. It's from the federal government. And these are master checks, only $300,000 of them. They were passed starting the month of March. Views have got to them. They're coming up in just a second. The next couple of checks are also really great. And again, it has nothing to do with where you live. They are lifetime stimulus because once your benefits go up, you, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Rail Benefits, they never go down. The third one is dependent on the states, but it's the smallest check. So we always go over it very quickly. It's usually about $1,000. It's inflation relief stimulus checks. And they're coming up in today's broadcast as well. So let's go into that breaking news. The breaking news was the consumer price index number for inflation was not anything to celebrate about. A 7.7 .7 when we've been 8% all year, why would you celebrate? 7.7 .7 compared to 2 is a long way to go. And how long is it going to take us to get to 2% from 7.7? .7? Federal Reserve has also told us that two years. And yet this week, 
that fake story fall of the Fed pivot, which is up there, you know, with Sasquatch, Bigfoot, UFOs, um, and Mitch um, being a fashion icon. Those, <laughs> it's up there with those, with those fake urban legends. Did you know Mitch was a fashion icon? Yeah, that and Sasquatch is running for president. Uh, <laughs> It's among those fake narratives that are out there. There is not going to be a change of policy. Let's look at the numbers. Now, I'm going to go over your milk and your eggs. I'm going to go over your clothing. I'm going to go over your rent. I'm going to go over your medical bills. And I'm going to go over your utilities. And I just want you to get prepared on the, on the items I'm going to go over. And just sort of think in your mind, did they go up or did they go down in the last 30 days? Because you're going to be really shocked. I mean, if you watch every video on this channel, you're still going to be shocked. Because I was shocked when I saw the data. Let's jump into it right now. Rent. I got to tell you, rent is predictable, but the magnitude that it came in was even shocking for me. Rent. Let's do the data. No, peop no one is buying homes anymore because they cannot afford to buy a home because the mortgage raised the highest levels of a generation. So if they don't buy a home, they stay renting. Pretty obvious, yeah. If you stay renting, then the landlord has full occupancy. And the landlord has full occupancy, guess what he does? Yeah, he raises up the price. So you certainly expect rent to go up compared to the prior month. But how much is rent up? Let's do the monthly data, which is compared to the prior month and the annual data, and get ready to get shocked. On a monthly basis, the rent went up another 1% compared to the prior month. This is the largest gain since 1990. But compared to last year, how much do you think the rent has gone up? Jump in the live chat. When do you think the rent escalated this much in one year, historically? I'll go over that in just a second with you. Give me a percentage point. Do you think it went up 2%, 4%? Give me a number and comment your state, and I'll go over your answers in just a second. The next one is food. This one you and I have all seen. In fact, I have noted for you, even over the earlier this month, that I'm sort of shocked of what's going on with food. I believe that the food, in my personal opinion, at least here in Los Angeles, went up in August and September. But when we got to October, it really went crazy. It went really fast, higher, higher, higher. That's what was reflected in the number. The numbers show that food went up 0.6% compared to the prior month, is now up 11% annualized. Okay, so now let's go back into that rent. How much did the rent go up on an annual basis? 7%. This is the highest annual jump of rent since the Reagan administration. 7% is basically 10%. That's really shocking. All right. The reason why I lead with stimulus, the reason why I teach you about stimulus, is because I have you prepare ahead of time. You don't do stimulus after the fact. You don't wait to be foreclosed upon. You don't wait to have the utilities bill turned off. And what did I teach you over the summer? When you get to stimulus check C, which we're going to get to in a second, I said over the summer, call up, establish a relationship, get paid for some heat in the August when the bill's one dollar, because you're going to eat some heat in the fall. And I said in the summer. Wait till you see these utility bills in the winter. They're going to be hideously higher than anyone would expect it. So let's jump in these utility bills. And these were in the Consumer Price Index number released yesterday. The Consumer Price Index number showed that utility bills went up 20% compared to the prior month. And get ready for you to go speechless on this one. Compared to October of 2021, where were the utility bills in October of 2022? Cold month last year, cold month this year. How much do they go up? 70%. 70%. Folks, we're just in the first month of cold weather. Imagine the stimulus stampede. Imagine the millions of Americans coming to LA to become brand new members because they will not be able to afford those utility bills. They're up 70% compared to last year. No one is going to be able to afford those bills. And that's why you have to get a federal stimulus check. Let's go over those F. SC, federal stimulus checks right now, understanding where they came from, what they are, and how they operate. These federal stimulus checks are absolutely incredible. They started with Joe Biden. Back in the month of March, Joe Biden passed a series of executive actions that established these stimulus checks. 
You can call them for stimulus. You can call them FSCs. You can call them Black Friday checks. You can call them Thanksgiving stimulus checks. $100,000, these first three checks. They are check A, B, and C. And I'm going to go through them with you one at a time so you know exactly how to apply to get them. Past in March, viewers have got to them and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, annual income, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, go get it as well. Then came Congress. Congress passed more checks, establishing checks E through K, bringing us to hundreds of checks for you, the purple power. I found more checks thereafter, L and M, N and L, P and Q. You get them in the Allied newsletter. Again, you get them in the Allied newsletter. You go right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Join the channel. The button is under the video. Then get that newsletter, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And get these incredible checks passed. You deserve them. And you deserve to be part of this incredible Purple Power community. Become a member to get all these incredible checks and get that incredible financial freedom. Because as a member of the Purple Power community, you will be head of the ball game in getting these big sums of money before anyone else. We're going to go over those checks in just a second. Let's go back to that breaking news. So the utility bill is insane through the roof and really not alone. When you look at earnings, earnings decline compared to the prior month, down 0.1% uh, and down at 3% on an annualized basis. So all the numbers that should have gone up went up really high, and then the, the salaries went even lower. So why was Wall Street excited about this data? And this data looks really horrible, in your opinion, in my opinion, is what it is. It shows that these numbers are really through the roof. They looked at a component part, which was the monthly summary number. The monthly summary number showed that the inflation increased 0.4% compared to the prior month when Wall Street was looking at 0.5%. Celebratory? No. <laughs> no. And reason why they celebrated was because used car prices dropped 2.4% compared to the prior month. That's a big drop in one month. Retail apparel dropped 0.7, and also medical dropped 0.6. Let me go over that retail, that clothing. So this is one of the concerns that we're going to start featuring on this channel over the next weeks, is the holiday shopping season. We are approaching Black Friday. All the major retails are rolling out Black Friday months, weeks ahead of time. Because they're very worried about the situation. There's a brand new report that says the UPS planes are parked. UPS planes are literally parked because no one is buying and the shipments are not happening. Why is this important for you? Because this is going to be the lead story everywhere across the country. Are there people in the malls? Are there people buying shoes? Are there people buying clothes? No, no, no. What are they buying? Travel and leisure. They're buying airline plane flights and they're buying hotel reservations. And that is what we saw in the demand destruction reports from the major credit card companies just a few days ago. So it's very, very troubling if the most obvious indication of the strength of the economy, people in the malls for holiday Thanksgiving sales don't show up and are not there. And you have the local news reporter saying, you know, it's pretty brisk this morning. There's no one really here. There's not much lines. Guess what's going to be the lead story? That's going to be the lead story. And then they'll have a person at the airport say there's a lot of people traveling. Yeah. And ultimately, the data will show that the holiday sales is not good. That's why you got to get the stimulus. Because what's at issue is that that is going to be the narrative to watch. And it's not particularly good. What's also not really good is that Fed pivot fakeness. Nonsense. False narrative. And the San Francisco president, Mary Daly, spoke about it yesterday. She says one month of data does not amount to a victory lap. It's important to be thoughtful that there's just one piece of positive information. We're looking at a whole set of information. What does that mean? She's looking at seen for 2% for several months. You already knew that. We went, led with that at the top of the video. In fact, if you don't know that, she said it again. Here is Mary Lee Daly on Thursday. We have to be resolute to bring inflation down to 2% on average. That's our goal, and we're committed to doing it. That's why I want you to watch this channel. We lead with the data. 7.5%, 8% inflation, not going to work. Where are they going? 2%. For one month? No. Several months. Are they going to pivot? Are they going to change? No. So you need to know those four factors, and I got to tell you, 
of the entire thing in the U.S. economy, you need to know those four things before anything else. Inflation will go from eight to two. It needs to stay at two for several months and that the Federal Reserve is not changing. And that anyone who tells you anything other than that, turn them off because that is not what the Federal Reserve is going to do. And everything that's going on in this economy is dependent upon those four factors. Eight to two, stayed at two for several months, and not changing. And that's really why I have to get these incredible checks. Let's start with the first three checks passed by the President of the United States, A, B, and C. Those first three checks of FSC checks across the board. Remember, federal stimulus checks, these great checks, are from the federal government. You apply with the federal government, they have the checks, they put the ch stamp on the envelope. It has nothing to do with your state, so do not write in the live chat, there's no money in Tennessee. Well, maybe for the case of that measly $1,000 check, but FSC checks are in every U.S. state because they are from the federal government and also every U.S. territory. Let's start with check A. $6,500 or $12,000 of forcible check in every U.S. state. This is the wonderful check that Spelling got. How do you get this? You go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Step one. Step two, get that LA newsletter. Delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go down the membership newsletter as you see check A. Click the link and go right in and apply. The purpose of the newsletter is for me to send you all the links to go right and apply. I do all the work for you. All you just have to do is click the links and apply. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Fifteen dollars to $80,000. A wonderful four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Again, how do you get this? You know the routine. Go on to this video. Join the channel. Hit that button. Join the channel. Become a member. And go right down and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Why would you not become a member? For just a few dollars of becoming a member, look what happened to Frank Mancuso. In less than 30 days, for just a few dollars of becoming a member, he got 18 months of that check B. Wow. For mortgage, that's incredible. Congratulations, Frank Mancuso. 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. Folks, that is nearly uh, that is nearly $10,000 at least, if not more. Another view out of Florida. She got, in less than 30 days, 80 checks with 18 months of five checks a month. That's 80 checks, $100,000 for just becoming a member for just a few days. That's why you want to join this channel. Become a member and get those incredible FSC checks. You go right under the video, join the channel, and then get that newsletter and start applying. What are you watching here? You're watching LA Light, America's number one financial news channel in America for this subject matter. Broadcasting 24 hours a day, seven days a week with live, short, taped, and also uh, uh, short form broadcast as well with three channels LA1, LA2, and LA3. Launched in 2020, this channel has gotten people $50 million. Been featuring this recording, been featuring this subject matter since day one, still doing it and still helping you every day of the, of the, of the recordings. It's called Purple Power, the incredible community of this channel. And when you inspire someone else, you inspire yourself as well. Let's jump back into those incredible checks. And congratulations to the nearly 100 new members who have joined this channel in the last 24 hours. The next check is check C. Now, Spelly got check A, but he also got check C. And we've had a lot of success stories for check C. What is check C? It is your rent, your utilities, your mortgage assistance, and more. And this was the check we were talking about earlier, why you need to get it with all those incredible high-growing utility bills up 60 70% in one year. My goodness. Check C. Join the channel. Become a member. Then go down in the membership news so you see check C. It tells you who to call what to say, and how to say it for these incredible stimulus items. And let's look at the, some of the success stories that we have had for Check C on this channel. One viewer, actually two viewers, in the last two weeks got 14 months of rent. But for them, look at these success stories from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Become a member and get Check C. What about utilities? Well, Lynn Glenn, longtime viewer, she's in all the live chats, love it to death. She got 12 months of utilities. Another viewer, also 12 months. It was either 12 or 14, I always forget. Then, uh, Mark, you see Mark there? Hey, Mark, he got $6,500 for utilities. His brother-in-law got $15,000. 
Well, that same brother in law got a quarter million dollars a snap. And guess what? Combinations of checks. You want to do it. You want to get a combination of these checks. Nisi, where she was at 23,000, she wanted to get more, 50,000. Marcus at 32,000, he went to 50, then 100, then 166. And Lorraine, she was at 105, she went to 155. That's what I tell viewers of this channel. You pounce as a Purple Hawk. You get one check, then you get another check. You don't stop. This is the channel where you push and you pounce as a Purple Hawk. Don't sit there with that hand out and just wait for something to land in it like a donut. You pounce and you inspire people. So if you have a success story in the live chat, post it right now. Because when you do, you inspire other people. What do you want to do? You want to go under this video, subscribe. Go under this video, hit that join in the channel. And also make sure you hit that bell to find a channel so you have all notifications set to all on. Congratulations to Dragon. She got $177,000 from this channel in recent weeks. Congratulations to also Jonnet. He got 20 friends and family, $250,000. He got himself $80,000, his mom and dad each $50,000. Congratulations to Margaret. Congratulations to Debbie, who recently got some money as well, about $15,000. And if you've had any success story, send to me on private message, also post in the live chat. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar. It doesn't matter if it's $100,000. Inspire so much people and so much success as well. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these FSC checks, these Thanksgiving and Black Friday stimulus checks, because we have a lot more to go over. Then we go to inflation-related stimulus checks, and then we go over to lifetime stimulus checks. But let's go back into the breaking news, because I really have a lot of it. I'm hoping I get it all in today. The data today for that consumer price index number showed that there is really no peak yet reached of inflation, in my opinion. A peak means like a mountain. You go to the peak of the mountain, you come back down. And analysts were out saying, well, inflation has peaked. Yes, inflation has peaked because, you know, the when you look at the monthly number, it only went up a little bit more. Wait a second, peak, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face. It makes no sense. The monthly number for inflation went up. So wait, you're at peak and you're going down? No, you're going up. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Uh, the annual number, was it up or was it down? No, it was up. So how can you say you haven't reached the peak? You're still climbing the mountain. You're still going up. I mean, <laughs> does this make sense? No, it does not make sense. And then when you look at you know utilities and when you look at rent, uh, they all went up. So for analysts to come out and say, I think inflation has peaked. Uh, well, that's nice that you think that, but you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong because here's the data. I mean, every single item went up compared to the prior month. Well, except with salaries, you know, salaries went down. Uh, so just to come out and say, I think inflation has peaked, that's great. That's also to say, I think that Sasquatch would be a really good president. <laughs> you know, there's no data that says Sasquatch would be a great president. There's no data that says Mitch would be a fashion icon. It's just your belief. And we don't believe you. <laughs> so there you go. Let's look at the jobs numbers because this is very important. Remember... We do not have that $600 a week of FPUC anymore in this U.S. economy. That stimulus expired two years ago. So what do we see on those latest job numbers? We saw two of them. Number one, we saw the number of jobless claims. This is newly unemployed people. New unemployed people shot up. It's 225,000, an increase of 7,000 for the prior week. If you've been on this channel all last year, you sort of remember where this number has been going. Highest point highest point of the entire year. I think it went to 232,000 for one week. We had about three weeks of 230, and then it came back down and improved. But here we go. We're right back at the highest level of the entire year, and that's even with seasonal jobs. So 225,000, really bad. We learned this week as well the job creation numbers. If for the month of October, the U.S. economy added 239,000, which was more jobs compared to the prior month, but the vast majority of them were travel and leisure. In fact, manufacturing jobs lost about 8,000. And we also saw that hospitality is up nearly 13% year to date, but the other industries are really not. And this is, again, what's very important to remember. As we go into this holiday season, Certain industries are going to do really, really well. Do not take that as the summary of the entire U.S. economy. 
going into December, you know absolutely that travel and leisure, airlines and hotels, are going to make massive, massive sums of money. Best money they've ever made in perhaps of 10 years. The numbers are going to be straight up for them. If you want a job, you go into travel and leisure. If you want to see the job creation numbers, you look to travel and leisure. You want to see good numbers, you look at travel and leisure. American Express and also Bank America, their CEOs and CFOs came out and said they are worried that the debt levels of people spending for travel and leisure are going to negatively impact other parts of the U.S. economy. And I agree. You're going to see the apparel, the clothing, the shoes sales are going to be way down this holiday season because people are spending on travel and leisure thousands of dollars and not going to have money left over to buy the clothing. And in many cases, they bought the clothing during the last uh, lockdown. So what's important to understand is don't expect really good data from the vast majority of this economy. Also, I want you to understand this because it's very important. You're going to see something called the Santa Claus rally in which stocks go straight up in the next two weeks. And they're going to continue to go straight up through December. That does not mean we're in good times. That is what always happens. I'll explain more about this in the big second half. Plus, I'll go over and those continuation of those big federal stimulus checks. Next up, lifetime stimulus checks. And also, your inflation release stimulus checks. It's a big day. It's a big afternoon. And we got holidays, LA, coming up in the big second half as well. See you back in 60 seconds as LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. In the big second half continues right now as massive stimulus heats up and lands across the country. It's Black Friday stimulus. It is your great Thanksgiving stimulus, and I'll go over all the details of how to get this big money. It's a big second half, and I'm excited you're here from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good afternoon. This is a continuation of Afternoons LA. Today on this broadcast, we continue with these FSC checks. Federal stimulus checks. They're from the federal government, paid by them, administered by them. They have nothing to do with your states. That's continue with them right now. The next group of checks came from Congress. Congress came along after the President of the United States and passed a series of checks, and those are checks E3K. We're going to go over all those incredible checks right now. Hundreds of checks, and you deserve them. Let's look at those great checks right now. We start with check E, which is a whopping $7,500. You heard me right, $7,500. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Check G is a whopping 30% off. Check H, a $2,000 stimulus check. Check I, a incredible $8,000 stimulus check. And check J, $8,000 stimulus check as well. My goodness. And then we get to check K, a $14,000 stimulus check. Incredible. Love it. Along the way, I searched high and low to find you more stimulus checks, and I found you stimulus check L. $100,000 on average of a loan is to free money. Just wonderful. Then M, $4,000 of grant money. Then we went to an incredible stimulus N. 
and is a brand new tablet, a brand new computer, a brand new laptop. And it gives you $100 towards that brand new tablet. And I got to tell you, I've been featuring this item, Stimulus N, on this channel for several months. I love it. I call it my favorite stimulus item. It also is free internet. But it all changed a week ago when John Maloof was watching on Mornings at Light. And he said, I got it. I said, I, you got what? He said, I got the tablet. Oh, you got Stimulus N. I got it. Yes, Adelaide, I got it. And I said, wow, John. Uh, now go get some more stimulus. And guess what happened? In 24 hours, no, 48 hours, he got approved for $24,000 of extra stimulus. That's how you pounce as a purple hawk. You start off a tablet and they got 24000 But this is why I like John Malou's story, is what he did was deliver his success story. I saw it while I was live on air, and I said, John Malou just got the stimulus check and a brand new tablet. Spelly, who you saw earlier in this broadcast, watched that video, and he said, tablet? Tablet where? I didn't get a tablet. <laughs> I didn't get a tablet. Why did I not get a tablet? Let me go to that membership newsletter. <laughs> Spelly for the membership newsletter went down and said, a tablet? I'm going to get a darn tablet? Come on already. <laughs> he went right down and clicked the button. He applied and Spelly got a tablet because John Maloof inspired him. And then stopped there. It's a domino effect. Lingland, you heard her in this recording, she had already gotten 12, 14 months of utilities. She heard Spelly get the tablet. And she said, Spelly got a tablet? And John Maloof got a tablet? Why have I not got the tablet? And she pouts and got the tablet. That's how this family works. We motivate each other. So whatever success story you have, whatever it's $1 or $100,000, post in the live chat, send me a private message, and I will feature your success story on air. Because I featured Stimulus N for several months, but it all created a domino effect once I started recording your success stories. Then we go to Stimulus O, one, which is a wonderful uh, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and also Stimulus P, which is 3% down for a refi and $8,000 of closing costs of Stimulus Q. My goodness. What is the totality of these federal stimulus FSC checks? $300,000, about 300 checks, number one. Number two, fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had a whopping $45,000. Congratulations, Johnny. By Friday, he continued, applied for 15 places. He got 15 applications in in four days. Did you hear that, folks? That's how you do it. He got half of them approved, half of them rejected. That's about what happens. And he got eight approved, $80,000 in four days. The next week, he helped mom and dad each get 50,000. Those 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. We've had a lot of people get over $150,000 on this channel. So what do you do? You go to this video, you subscribe. You go under this video, hit that bell to make sure all notifications set to all on. And you hit that join the channel button and become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Then you get that membership newsletter. Monday through Friday, you go down in there, apply for check A, B, C, and continue. Now, when you get to inflation relief stimulus checks, they're totally different. And they're also in the membership news there. Down at check D, like donut, you click the button and it opens up a brand new page for those inflation relief stimulus checks. These are different, they're smaller. So I don't lead with something that's smaller, I, I lead with something that's bigger. But they are about $1,000, number one. Number two, automatic direct deposit. Number three, from your states. And number four, the states have websites for you to track and learn about it. How do you get all this information from me in the membership newsletter? In the membership newsletter, you go down to check D. I give you the states one at a time. I give you the link to the websites run by the states, and I give you the amount of the checks so you can learn about them as well. The last type of stimulus checks, which are absolutely incredible, are called lifetime stimulus checks on this channel. Why do I call them lifetime stimulus? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Bevitts, and Veterans Bevitts. You know, I'm really so proud of all my SSI and SSDI and veterans and similar who have learned so much over the last year with me. We all learned about the importance of ratio benefits. We all understood the, we all learned on this channel, time benefits to inflation. Well, I got something for new for you to learn today as well. Your benefits are going to go undergo 
four raises. You already had the first one. You have three more happening. No one's telling you that. And the second thing no one's telling you is that your raise is going to give you more money than how much it costs to live. Really? Did I hear that right? You heard that right. What's going on? Last year, you got a 5.9% raise. That's what your checks are right now. Next year, you're going to get a second raise, 8.7. So you started two years ago in the first floor. Then this year, you went up to the first floor, five point, to the second floor, 5.9%. Next year, you're going to the third floor, 8.7%. But guess what? You're not stopping at the third floor. You're going to the fourth and the fifth. And once you get to the fifth floor, you're never going down. It's so important to understand. You're going to get two more raises after this 8.7% raise. So you get to the fifth floor. Because Jay Powell says there's going to be two more years of inflation after next year. Yeah, so you're going to have inflation into 2024, which means by 2025, you will be at the fifth floor of raises. It's incredible. And remember, once you get to the fifth floor, you're never going to go back down in the building. You could actually go higher in, re in subsequent years if there is more inflation. Moreover, no one else is telling you this as well. As you reach the fifth floor, what happens to the items you're buying? They're going to go back down to the first floor. The milk and eggs, the soda that's, you know, <laughs> $3.25 right now or three fifty or whatever ridiculous price it is. It's going to go back down to $0.75. Cents. It's going to go down back down to $0.75 cents in, in, in two years from now. But your check, your benefits check will not go down. That's why this is incredible news that no one teaches you. Let's go back into the breaking news that impacts your wallet today. And the job creation and the job claims number is really important. What should you expect and see in this economy in the next week? And what should you expect and see in the next month? I need to go over this with you because it is incredibly important. First, housing is going to really fall apart. It's already fallen apart, but it's really going to hit worse. Next, inflation is going to continue to track higher because we saw that in the data released today. There was nothing indicative that these items are going down. They're going to continue to track higher. But more importantly, where is the impact going to be on your wallet? Number one. Do I believe that anything that you buy on a regular basis is going to go down in price between now and the end of the month? No. I mean, there's no reason to think that there would. Milk and eggs, groceries are going to go down. No, they've gone up every single month that I've been recording all this year. There's no indication they're going down. In fact, the, the rate that they're going up on a monthly basis is the same. It hasn't improved. It hasn't softened at all. Number two, gasoline gasoline is really fascinating. I mean, I almost can't record gasoline because every day that looks like it might improve, it goes right back up. Gasoline prices are not easing up at all. What about rent? Nope, going up. Medical did go down. We have that number in here, but that's a very confusing number, medical. It's, it's, it's too hard to record it. But medical did slow a little bit. It went down 0.7%. Um, and then finally, the utilities, they're going to keep on going up. So however hard it is to live right now, however much of a financial burden it is for you to live right now, how much, however much things are too expensive right now compared to what they used to be, they're going to be worse. I don't want you to listen to that fake narrative Wall Street's trying to feed you that inflation has peaked. It hasn't peaked on the things you and I buy because we see them here. We see the groceries in the components of the CPI. We see the rent. We see um, the, the utilities. So those have not gone down. So, in fact, the amount that they're going up on a monthly basis is so astronomical that even if it's softened, they're still going up. That's number one. Number two, what about the respective markets and how they impact you? Are they going to improve? No. So the mortgage rates are going to continue to track higher. The housing industry is going to continue to get worse. And the stock market is going to confuse. Don't get confused. Let's go back to that terminology. It's called the Santa Claus rally. Stocks always go up in December, and then they come back down into January. They do that even in a bear market. A bear market is where we're down. A recession is where we're down. And even as you go down, you often go up. We always go up in December. So do not... When you see good data in December, say, oh, maybe we're improving. Maybe we're done. Maybe we're pivoting. Maybe we're pair dancing. No, 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 no. 
And Mitch is not going to be become a fa fashion icon. <laughs> no, do not get tricked by the dad that's coming coming in December. Number three, these job numbers are a little bit scary. These job numbers of 240,000 jobless claims, no bueno. The job creation numbers, if I was to break them out and say how many jobs are created in non-travel and leisure, in industries other than hotels and airlines, the numbers wouldn't be respectively good either. And so what you're going to see is more people coming on here. If you're new to this channel, because we have a lot of brand new viewers, and I'm so excited you have joined this Purple Power community, let me tell you what I have told viewers over the last year and where we are today. I told my viewers in spring of 2021 that the U.S. economy would have 8% inflation and not go away. It's a year later, and I've gotten it right. I was the only American financial broadcaster in spring of 2022 to say the U.S. economy was going to go into recession, and that recession and its wheel hurt is going to be felt in 2023. We are a recession, and the wheel hurt hasn't happened yet. Number four, I told you that the debt levels of spending are out of control in the U.S. economy, and that's really going to cause a big implosion. Has the implosion happened yet? No. Has the spending gone through the roof? Yes. American Express and Bank of America's CEO said they've never seen credit card spending levels like this ever, ever. So when does that implosion happen? That's a financial cliff. I've asked you, I'll ask you again today, right now in the live chat, when you believe the real, you know, calamity, the real financial cliff, the real, oh my God, what did I do to myself, kicks in. Viewers have historically on this channel for the last few months said January. They think that the massive spending for holiday trips will put people over the edge in January and February, and they'll look at those credit cards and say, I can't pay them. Now, I want to remind you that whatever the credit card debt is right today, let's say you have $1,000 of credit card debt, and you look at the rate to pay that debt, it's going to be hideously more hard to pay the debt in January and February because we have more interest rate spikes coming from j -Pow. Next, I was the only American broadcast to really report that the auto industry was going to be the next calamity after housing. It's reflected. I mean, look at the data we saw this week. When you look at the numbers that came in from Ford, the auto industry numbers have showed a massive, massive drop. Ford U.S. sales declined 10% in one month. And while they attribute it to supply chain disruption, I do not. I attribute it to people cannot afford the car because the car load is too expensive. When you look at Ford F-150 pickup trucks, which obviously a lot of people may buy for work or buy for, you know, whatever they're doing with their business, those are down 18% in one month. Yeah, so there's a reason why people are not buying cars. In fact, when you look at the used car data from CPI this week, it was horrible. Car sales of used cars were down 2.4% in one month alone. This is really the next industry to absolutely fall apart. And I want to make this very clear to you. Auto is a very big component of all the economic data we cover on this channel. It's a very big component. Housing has fallen apart. If auto falls apart right after housing, which I'm predicting it will, then you got two major U.S. industries really falling apart. What could be next? Hard to say. But I got to tell you, the most indicative, the most obvious next industry to fall apart is retail. Retail, the clothing, the shirts, the shoes. If you don't have those people in the stores this holiday season, if they put all their money into the travel and the leisure and they have nothing left to, to spend on a shirts and a jeans, then you're going to see the bad numbers. And this last week, one of the things I did not record, but I just want to recap for you right now because I didn't cover it at all, was massive, massive layoffs being announced. There were massive layoffs, and I don't mean a thousand employees. Facebook now Meta, I think it laid off 11,000 employees this week alone, 11,000 people. That's basically an entire, uh, an entire city. It's like an entire location. 11, it's like an entire building or two or three buildings. 11,000 is not, you know, 1,000 people. 
What's the equivalent of 11,000 in Facebook being laid off? That's the equivalent of a department store saying we're closing three stores or 20 stores in, in five states. That's what's going to be coming next. And the way you prepare for that is you become part of this incredible family. Welcome to all those wonderful new members. And join me tonight on Evenings L8 in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Jump into L8 live every day, 24-7. And I look forward to seeing you and look forward to your success stories as well. Go out of this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP. And finally, uh, I just saw it as I was flicking me through to give you the closing credit uh, image. Hopefully I can show you. I do. I don't want to lose it. Um, I don't want to get emotional, but I want to show you this. Do you remember this graphic? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut away from myself because I don't want to show myself emotional. Do you remember this graphic? It's, uh, what did I add this graphic? I add this graphic, I think, in, in March. Do you remember this graphic? I think you do. What is this town? Where is this town? I have more images, but they're not in this, um, in this uh, platform ready for, for you to see. If you can recognize this town or realize why I'm getting a little emotional, then uh, then you know where I'm going with it. If you don't remember the town, let me give you a hint. It's near this town. Yeah, now you may know what I'm talking about. This town is Odessa, and this town is Gershon. Gershon was featured on this channel back in the month of March. And I had beautiful videos and beautiful graphics that are stock, obviously, from, from years back that showed how beautiful the town was. And we all knew what happened. Vladimir Putin desecrated the town. Vladimir Putin invaded the town. Vladimir Putin took Gershon. Today, the breaking news is after months of occupation, the people of Gershon have liberated the town from the people of Russian troops. Yes, Gershon has been restored to the people of Ukraine. So my deepest applause and congratulations to the people of Gershon. If they should be an inspiration, please take them to heart. It's that type of pouncing, that type of pushing. You never give up. They never got gave up. They got their town back. Even as the war continues, the people of Gershon got their town back. Then call it quits, and you should as well. I look forward to seeing you tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Keep your thoughts and prayers to the incredible people of Gershon and keep on doing what they did so well. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful afternoon, and stay with Ally for more.